I spent over $100 on this box that contains one PSA graded card. Let's see what's inside. Hey guys, what's going on? The channel's If Sports Cards. My name is Ian, and we are back with another card vestments. I'm a card vester. I've done a couple of these products before. Um, this one's a little bit different. This is the Fire Chasers box. You can see it has a little FC here on the bottom. Daniel must have thought I did a good job reviewing his previous product, so he asked me to do it once again, which he gives me a little bit of a benefit, a price decrease to do this. And, you know, for what I paid last time and what I got in return, you know, I, I felt comfortable enough doing it again. So we're going to see what is inside this box. But first, I want to make one thing clear. You guys should only purchase this product or any products like this if you're willing to lose money. This is strictly gambling. More people are going to lose money than those that are going to win money. Just keep that in mind. I don't want you guys you know, going out of your way, spending money that maybe you shouldn't spend and, you know, not getting one of these chaser cards, which we're going to look at their website here. We're on cardvestments.com and we're looking at the fire chasers. If you look up here, guys, Memorial Day weekend, you get 10% off if you use that code. So, you know, that's about 150 bucks. Let's say you'd spend 150 bucks on this they are, like I said, one card, multi-sport, three chaser cards. You got Acuna, Zion, and Herbert, which are shown right here. Here are the three cards. They're all PSA 10s. I am partial to PSA, so I, I love this product. And one of the things I told Daniel last time is like, hey, you know, you got to let people know what to expect. Like, what's the ceiling look like? You know, what's the floor look like? Stuff like that. Because before it was just, you went into it blind. You did not know what you were going to get. Now we can see that he provided us with, you know, the three, I'm assuming the best cards that you can get. Let's look here. We got one card in every box, like I said. Limited to 30 boxes. So there's only 30 of these. Three chasers. That means that you have a 1 in 10 chance in getting one of these chasers. There are PSA 9s. Not everything is a PSA 10. And all of the other cards outside of the chasers will be rookie year. So that's something I did not know. That's good. Before we open this box, let's just look at the chasers. I like to use 130point.com because eBay doesn't necessarily tell you all the time. If, you know, a best offer was accepted, eBay will not tell you that. So I like to use 130point.com, which I just searched Mosaic, Justin Herbert, PSA 10. Let's look down here. These have autographs. This is pink. That's a mosaic. That's the debut. All right, here's the first one that's not a debut. 200 bucks. Here's another one, 220. I think that's the base one. So yeah, we'll say, you know, somewhere in there. Make sure I got Zion, PSA 10, select. And it is the concourse one. This one here, another one that's about 200 bucks. We'll say 200 just for easy math. And then we got Acuna. His tops chrome is currently going for... You know, 250, 270, somewhere in there. If I go back to his website, he does say here that the value of the cards may range from as low as $70 to as high as 450. So I don't know where that 450 comes from. I don't know if maybe one of these cards has really dipped in value since he released this product. At 100, and, we're gonna say 150 bucks, he could lose quite a bit of money, but you could also gain you know, 50 plus dollars. He had a 10% chance of doing that. So I think that about covers that part of things. Um, but now, now the fun part, let's see what we got inside here. And I know a lot of you guys, you said on the last videos, you know, he's just giving you the good cards because you're a streamer. Well, I mean, I never really made out like a bandit on those other ones. I think I ended up either breaking even or slightly losing money on what the MSRP was on those boxes. But Think about it. If he were to give me a chaser intentionally here, that drops one of the chasers off the list. That means there's two left with 29 boxers. It's like six and a half percent then after that of a chaser being in there. So, I mean, I don't see why he would do that. Obviously, he would love to have a good review and make me happy, but I don't think... I don't think giving me a chaser intentionally is the, the way to go about doing that. But, again... I have no idea. I didn't see him package these. You know, I just got to trust him. He seems like a really, really nice guy. And, uh, you know, I'm willing to, to take a chance on this. I got number 11. Number 11 out of 30. 
you know, he does a good job with the packaging and all that stuff. And all that stuff adds cost too, guys. I mean, for me, this is purely entertainment. And it's nice that, you know, I'm not gambling and losing all of my money. I'm going to get something in return here. But uh, that nice PSA case, I can feel it. Let's see, do I have to tear this or no? I don't have to tear this. I can save this. It's interesting. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Let's find out what we got. Is it going to be... I want to see... Uh, we'll cover up the grade. It is a prism card. Therefore, I did not get a chaser. 2020 Panini Prism. It could be any sport. Uh, I, I, I can't even guess. Jalen Hurts. We keep pulling Jalen Hurts. Well, yeah, we pulled last pack war. We pulled quite a bit of Jalen Hurts. A Jalen Hurts Panini Prism. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Huh. Look at that. So I did ask Daniel last time, I said, hey, do you send these cards in yourself or do you buy them? And he said that he actually buys them. You know, with turnaround times with PSA, it would just take way too long to get stuff like this back. But I mean, someone did, obviously. All right, so I'm looking at it. Centering, centering looks pretty good. Um, maybe there's a little bit more on the bottom of the card than there is on the top, but left to right looks really good. The foil stamp looks like it's Oh, just a hair off of that emblem. You guys probably can't see that too well. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. Let's flip it over, look at the back, and then we'll reveal the, the grade. Looking at corners, I don't see anything that pops out at me. So, you know, obviously it's going to be at least a 9, but it could be a 10. Let's see what we got. 3, 2, 1. A PSA 9. All right, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what what you both go for, to be honest. But you know, I I love modern cards. I am a big fan of Prism, obviously. To get one of the top quarterbacks who showed promise, not bad. I'm pretty happy. I I don't know. I, I if I guessed, I, if I guessed, I think I probably came just a little bit under what the uh, you know we'll say 150 bucks think this i don't think this is gonna get there but let's find out all right we're going back to 130 point i'll just type in here 2020 prism jalen hurts uh we'll go psa we'll look at psa 9 first and then we'll look at psa 10 Got to find the right one here. These are all different parallels. Jalen Hurts, PSA 9, 56, 60 bucks. So definitely, definitely came out under, definitely did not make our money back on this one, but it is the off season too. So yeah, I would probably hold this until at least the season's getting really close and hype starts building up. Maybe I can get, you know, hundred bucks back. Maybe, hopefully. But uh, let's let's check what the PSA 10 goes for, just to, just for fun. PSA 10, 320 bucks. I don't know pop reports, so that obviously that could factor into the the difference from you know 60 bucks to 320. But that's quite a big jump from PSA 9 to PSA 10. There could be a ton of PSA 9s. All right, here's 250. That makes maybe a little more sense, but uh, 300. But we didn't get that card. We got the PSA 9, which is a cool card. Um, and it also provides you guys the opportunity to get one of those chasers. Again, guys, only look into this sort of stuff if you have the means to do it. You know, take care of yourself first. And then if you have money that you're willing to blow on some entertainment, look into something like this. It's fun, but... Um, that's going to do it guys. Thank you for so much for watching. Thank you, Daniel, for giving me the opportunity to review this product. The way you guys should look at it is you got 150 bucks, which you're going to put into it, but you have a 10% chance to win 50 or more dollars, depending on which card you pull, but you're not going to walk away empty handed, which is the good part. And it is fun. It is a fun product. So if you guys do decide to buy one of these, 
my fingers are crossed for you that you get one of those chasers. And until next time, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out. Ah!